Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 43 years old man is due to undergo a excision of the submandibular gland. Which of the following incision is most appropriate for this procedure? So here the key point, 43 years old man uh, due to undergo excision of the submandibular gland. That means the one of the cerebral gland who is located just below the mandible. Which of the following incision should be most appropriate? So we have to find out the incision to prevent any type of risk to the injury of the different structure which are located around the submandibular gland and close to the mandible. Had the options, the options are a transverse oriented incision, 3 cm below the mandible, a transversely oriented incision, immediately inferior to the mandible, a vertical incision 3 cm anterior to the ankle of the mandible and extending inferiorly, a transversely oriented incision 2 cm above the mandible, a transversely oriented incision 12 cm below the mandible. So now let's see some of the picture. So in this picture we can see this is the mandible and submandibular gland lies in this area now we can see some structure in here such as this is the terminal branch of the facial nerve and here this is the marginal mandibular nerve it uh, passes very close to the mandible and we can see some other branches such as the buccal branch and temporal branch so above the mandible there is the different type of the nerve present also though there is a vessel present also so any incision in above the mandible such as in this area or this area or this area there is a every chance of injury of the nerve and here the uh, abnormality is gland lies behind and inferiorly so this incision is not possible to find the submandibular gland and excision and also vertical incision there is no question there is no benefit of the vertical incision above the mandible and here in this picture we can see the some other structures such as this is the facial artery which goes to the face area causing the mandible and we also can see this is the marginal mandibular gland which is located just below the mandible so we have to give incision to save uh, the marginal mandibular nerve and the facial vein so we have to give incision at least 33 millimeter this is the 3 centimeter so here we have to give a transversely in, uh, oriented incision 3 centimeter below the mandible to expose the submandibular gland and avoid all type of risk to the injury of the structure which is closely located to the submandibular gland and the second option we can see here a transversely oriented incision immediately inferior so there is risk of the injury to the marginal mandibular a vertical incision 3 cm anterior to the angle of the mandible the vertical incision usually gives uh, less space and there is risk of injury of this structure then a transversely oriented incision 2 cm above the mandible there is no benefit because 2 cm above there is only bones so exposure of the submandibular gland is not possible transversely oriented incision 12 cm below the mandible so 12 cm is a long distance so there is no submandibular gland so our answer is the 3 cm this number is very important 3 cm below the mandible